He's so busy staring at the shadow. Scotty. Scotty. It's that. It's that. Shell. Rawr. Rawr. Oh, no. Scotty. Scotty. <laughs> it's it's Scotty again. Today Welcome we're doing to my channel. top five reasons why you should not sleep. <laughs> we don't like sleep. <laughs> and July favorite two things I like about mommy's boobies: <laughs> left and the right. <laughs> oh, daddy, wait, I'm looking you. Man, don't look. Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. What? <laughs> so guys, as we mentioned earlier, Scotty did not sleep at all last night. Like he would wake up every 30 minutes and cry. And Slater and I would take turns like soothing him, carrying him, I was feeding him, and then he bit my nipple off. Like obviously not off, but it was super painful. So the more I couldn't sleep, even when he was finally trying to close his eyes, I couldn't sleep because it was so painful. And so now I am Bionic Woman again. I am pumping. You can see the light. There's pump on right now. There, there you can see. There's the pump. I usually direct feed him in the morning at this time but I can't because it hurts so much. And so Scotty is now with his caregiver and she's giving him a bottle and um, giving him a shower and I am going to pump and I'm going to make my own breakfast and I'm going to <sighs> pray that this night never happens again. I'm happy though because this afternoon I'm having a meeting with Ria of him being again and hopefully she can help me figure out why this is happening and hopefully have this never ever happen again ever. Good morning, Sky Bear. Come. Whoa, good morning, house. Daddy sleeper. Maaga ang gumising kasi may trabaho today. And our Roomba, I robot is on, cleaning already. Guys, I was making breakfast and I finished already and I forgot to show you guys. I'm so sorry because I know this is the part that you love watching. But mom brain number one and walang tulog number two, I forgot. Huh. I'm having sardo toast with this bread that's super yummy that Seder sister made. And this is an almond latte that was given to us by Unity Coffee. It's so good. And I'm having peanut butter. Seder is having his usual sardo toast with balsamic vinegar and olive oil. We are going to have breakfast now and kind of settle into our morning. Slater has a lot to do today, so he is going to be quick and easy. And I'm gonna, I finished pumping as you can see, but I still have a clog here. So I'm gonna try to get Scotty to direct feed me after he bottle feeds. And then after all of that, I will clock in with you guys and see what else we have for the day. All right guys, I am fresh now. Just came out of the shower and I'm going to take you guys around Scotty's nursery now it's not yet done and I'm planning to do like a complete nursery tour once this whole thing is set up but just a little sneak peek and I want to show you also some of the like essentials that we've been using for Scotty's room and for Scotty in general like his toys things that we used to clean his toys his laundry detergent and stuff like that so I'm gonna show you right now welcome to Scotty's room here's a little sneak peek right so when you enter there's this cabinet here it looks really weird that when you enter it's like that right so we got this and I'll put a link to where we got this down below. It's gonna look like that. It's kind of like a height measuring thing so we can track how tall Scotty is getting, especially when he is able to stand up. This is gonna be really, really cute. And this cart is temporary over here. We're storing some frames that we are gonna put up on this wall. Um, we're gonna do like a little shelf situation where we can hang the frames 
It's out in the sala. Slater has, still has not installed it. It's over there, if you can see. There's a little wood piece on the floor. He still has not gotten around to installing it because he's been so busy, but it's gonna be here. This is so cute. Slater is the one who decorated it. I'm still not sure if this is gonna be final, but so far, this looks really cute. This one, I'm not so sure about, but I mean, but then later did a better job than I did, so I'm proud of him. Our little Ella planter is here. Ta-da! But what I really wanted to show you guys are these cabinets. We're not yet done. This one still needs to go up on the wall, and like these are a little bit messy, and like, you know, everything's a little bit magulo. We are keeping all of the colored stuff here, so his room is very neutral. Ta-da! So it's a little bit cleaner. And all his essentials are down here, so it's very easy to access. And I'm gonna show you what's inside these drawers right now. So on this corner, we have, these are like the things that I always have on hand and I always have refills. So these are the refills, the ones on hand we are not storing here. But this one is a natural nursery cleanser, so I use that to wipe down all the surfaces here in the nursery, these parts, like all the surfaces, the crib, etc., etc. This one is a spare also. We have the green one that we're using to clean his bottles. Um, this is also a spare nappy time change cream, but Scotty does not really use change creams because we are using a really good diaper brand, Huggies, and he didn't have any reaction to it at all. So these are spares. This is a diaper changing spray. Right, and this one is a quick spray baby bottle cleaner when we're in a rush. Um, we just spray it on and wipe it down. And this is also a natural bottle and dish wash, which we always have spares of because we are always washing bottles and hakas and everything of that sort. So these are all from Tiny Buds. I think they are a local brand and I love supporting local. Their products have been so good to us so far, like super, super sulit nya, and it works really well. Um, they're all natural, so I really, really like their products. Here naman on the second one, is what's here it's all of scotty's avino products avino baby um cleansing therapy it's wash and shampoo and the lotions at the back and here are more tiny buds things that we have not been using yet but i think we'll be using once he is a little bit older so there's a rice baby powder that's talc free these ones you know they gave us a bunch of these when I was still pregnant and I already used this one myself and I really, really like it. But when Scotty's bigger, I'm sure he can make use of this. And um, there's also like a first tooth teething gel and a scar gel and like a belly button patch, which I will save for my next baby or probably give to my sister because Scotty obviously does not have his belly button there anymore. For this last one is like a bunch of Magulo things that I have not stored yet, but it's basically like big plastic bags, diaper bags, see? They're all plastic bags, so I have yet to store this and organize it properly, but they're just for storing, like, they're just basically big plastic bags to store baby stuff in. The man on top is where we change Scotty Boo, so it's supposed to be like this. We are going to put frames up here in the future, up on the wall. Um, this is a toy that we use to entertain him because sometimes he's very fussy while we're changing his diaper. And we have our Huggies, wet wipes here, cotton. Sometimes you use cotton and wet it with water and that's what you use to wipe his bum. A little trash can here that we got from Smart Toys. And we usually put like a lot of diapers here, but I guess it ran out. I haven't refilled it yet. So that's what this is for. And this felt basket. I just got this on Lazada and I really think it's super cute and useful. I will put a link down below so you can get it yourself too. And then all of Scotty's little essentials here, his little comb here. It's so cute watching him get his hair combed because he just has super little hair. But yeah, it's super cute. So we are slowly getting there. This is still my favorite wall of the house that was made by my sister-in-law. It's so, so, so cute. And this is Scotty's crib, our fan. Like it's so magulo because he doesn't really sleep here yet. So we're still finding like a balance of, you know, where he can sleep in the day, where he can sleep at night. The light here is so bright. So he can't sleep here in the day, even though we've already installed blinds. He needs blackout. That's why he sleeps in the guest room. And so when this is all complete, guys, don't worry. I'm going to show you around. But for now, eto lang muna. Let me get my phone. Ah, let's go up now. Sky loves to like follow me around, especially when Scotty is not with me. All right, guys, little update. Scotty is still sleeping. I'm doing a bit of work here now in my home office, sitting on the floor because Hobbs has taken over my desk. But 
He has already told me that he will move out soon. We're just buying a table for him and we're gonna find a corner in the house where he can set up his gaming station so that I can finally move back to the table. It's so much easier to work when you have your own space. Not that I don't like that Slater is spending time here in the office with me. It's just, it's hard to work here on the floor. Um, and also this is really an eyesore. I'm very excited to have my own space back again. We're also getting a new table. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but I'm excited for that. We're getting a smaller table so that everything kind of fits better. I think this table is too big. And then Scotty can have some of his toys here so we can play while I'm working. And if you hear that vibrating sound, it is this vibrating boob theme massager from Livy Mom. Um, I have clogged ducts because it was a crazy night last night. And also there's a fan beside me, a Dyson fan, which is usually very noisy. So I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to get the clogs out. Um, and hopefully by my next pumping session they will be gone. If not, then ouch, I have to hand express them. Okay, back to work. Baby number two, stare off. Oh, you lost my baby. You stop looking at sky. <laughs>
All right, guys, so Scotty is gonna take his nap now. He was taken by our caregiver, Yaya Jera, and I am left to keep all of his things in his nursery. This is the aftermath of a little play session with Scotty. In order to keep him entertained, like I need to take all the toys out. And so after everything that we play with is here on the floor, then I will sanitize it with either a toy cleaner or this one, which is the nursery cleaner. And I also use it to sanitize like this chair that he sits on, which I'm gonna show you later. But now, because I need to pump in a while, my nips are still resting because Scotty was so incredible to them last night. And I need to pump. And because we are low on help here, then Yaya, Jara, and I take turns. So when she is with Scotty, then I will clean up and when I am with Scotty, then she will clean up. So right now she's with Scotty, getting him to take his naps. So I'm going to be here. Um, I need to wash all of this. Ta-da! So this is a Komotomo bottle that we use to feed Scotty. And I like Komotomo because there is no nipple confusion. And these are the Hegan bottles that I use to store milk that I express from my Hakka. And I love, love using the Hegan bottles. Um, Hakka, giant Hakka. This is parts from my LV pump and all these things that I need to clean. My cleaning supplies are this OXO drying rack that was gifted to me by Chase and Tritzy. Thank you guys so much. This is from my Convi sterilizer because it's so hot when I use a steam sterilizer. So I use this to get the bottles out. And then this is hand soap. I use Tiny Buds natural bottle and dish wash. I love it because it's fragrance free, but sometimes when I'm lazy, I just use this quick spray bottle cleaner. And this is the, you know, sometimes they say, how do you clean a bottle because it's so deep? Or like, how do you clean the haka? You just go inside. And this is also from Tiny Buds. And I really, really like Tiny Buds as you can see because i use it for almost every everything here when it comes to cleaning it says that it can clean dishes it can clean bottles it's fragrance free it's suitable for family use 100 percent safe free from sls and parabens and it's not tested on animals so i i really like this product and i always have spares as you saw in my drawer so i'm gonna go clean this now and after that i'm gonna go clean the nursery All the dishes I make sure that I take out every little piece like the rubbers here take it all out like this one from the bottle just to make sure that everything is sanitary then I rinse everything off and then I quickly use the bottle cleanser for everything and then I rinse it all in one go that's how I do it and then I dry it here and then I sanitize it Hello, milady. I am back. Husband is home. Oh, instead of helping the wife, I am helping her shoot. Yes. Guys, this is what I was talking about. This is, I have two sterilizers. Combi is a steam sterilizer because some bottles cannot be UV sterilized. Like for example, the Hakka or silicone or Komotomo bottles can't be UV sterilized. So you need to use a steam sterilizer, which mm. is what I'm using now. Kailangan niya ng malaking stuff is steam. Self-esteem. Yeah. Dad jokes. Esteem And then kami, Iko Mom is a UV sterilizer given by Bestie Jillian Wang. Thank mm. you so much. It's sterilizing already the parts from my LP pump and my Egan bottles because... Pwede. Because and Iko at Iko, I sterilize. That's it. So I'm going to finish doing this and then I'm going to grab lunch and then I will clean the nursery later. Yes. So, mamaya na because gutom na si sir. 
Bye-bye. And this guy is... I don't know what is wrong with this boy. What's wrong with you, Sky? What's wrong with you? Hui. Sky. Sky. Huh. Shaggy dog. Lunch is done. Hubs is preparing me some dessert. Thank you, Hubba Bubba. While I am pumping again. Hubs. Hubs. Yeah. Say hi. I was okay for high. Both. <laughs> He's giving me some cake for happiness. This is our cake sobra from Scotty's four month old cake. The elephant cake. It's actually really good because it's not super sweet. Thank you, Hubba Baba. Yeah. Let me. Let me Ria, we're having a meeting today. Hi guys, so if you have like sleep concerns or if you have a newborn with sleep regression like me, then give Ria a follow because she's gonna help you out. <laughs> okay. Thanks guys, we're gonna talk today a lot about the sleep regression yes. and how to get over it. It's now just a matter of limiting that response, no? Um, and not doing... This is the fine line of parenting. You want to do enough for them so they learn, but not too much that you're going to end up doing it for them their whole lives. And I know it's very hard because it's only four months. So happy four months, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Months, so <laughs> I still feel bad. I mean, I honestly still feel bad. My babies are crying. But again, I, as you see them getting bigger, it's like, okay. Hi, baby. We just finished our meeting for sleep training. I'm gonna talk to you about it. No way, Casey Scott. Oh, sorry, Scott. I'm not sure if we're, I'm gonna do it yet, if I'm emotionally ready. So I need to talk to you first. Are you emotionally ready, Scott? This boy is so cute. I can't bear to see him cry. Hey! Looking at the camera. Mm, let me go say hi to Amma. She's outside. Amma is here. Mommy is here. Sky Sky Bear is there. Sky Sky follow you everywhere. Change outdoor slippers. Sige man, nagilak si Sky si Gawas na meeting ko sa kayo. I cannot go with you because I don't have chini glass. I am chini ill. Sky! Love, look at the driveway portion that I cleaned. Oh, huh? so much whiter than even the this portion. Oh, amazing! See? It's like brand new! So mommy disinfects all of my packages for me. Ta -da. Hi mom! <laughs> look, look! Scotty! Look! Scotty baby! Oh, this one! See, <laughs> oh man! Are you okay? Huh? You want to push? You want to get out? So guys, um, I was gonna clean Scott's room, but we are taking a little bit of a detour from my plan. We are going to my sister's house because I'm going to give her all of the newborn things that I don't need already. Like um, the bathtub that we were using for Scotty when he was smaller, um, some of Scotty's old clothes. Um, some of her kids are also doing ballet and I have some leotards that I'm going to share with them and I also give them um, an advanced Merry Christmas gift. So we're delivering it all right now and my sister is also just our neighbor so don't worry that is why we're not wearing any masks. We're not even going to leave the car. We're going to be very very safe. And after that, when we get home, I will try to see if I still have time to show you um, a few of the things that Scott loves using, like his laundry detergent, because these are things that moms have to consider now. Everything has to be all natural, fragrance-free, right, love? And I'm so used to like having to be so meticulous about laundry detergent because this guy is also allergic to scents. So everything has to be hypoallergenic in this house. I don't and, do scents. Uh, I do millions. <laughs> Okay, so when we get back, a little bit more of newborn essentials and maybe I can show you guys a little bit of Scott's nighttime routine and then I will call it a video. So I will see you guys. 
guys, I know this sounds totally crazy, but it's already been two days since that last clip that you saw. Naputol yung video ko, and I guess if you are parents of a newborn, then you'll understand what I mean. Like, you really can't plan your day. Um, you try to plan your day, but it doesn't exactly go as what you want it or how you imagine it. And when we got back home from dropping stuff out at my sister's house, Cody was crying, he was having a hard time sleeping. And then we had to give him a bath and then I had to put him down for bed. We had to do our whole routine and it was a whole thing. So I was not able to clean his room. <sighs> and forgive me for that cut, that abrupt cut. But now we are back. It's been two days because yesterday was also very tough. Scott did not sleep at all that night. He's, he woke up every 30 minutes to an hour. Can you imagine? So ako, Pati ako, walang tulog at all. It was such a struggle. So yesterday, I did not feel like vlogging at all. I was just working in my pambahay. Uh, I didn't even get to take a shower until about 4 p.m. So that's why I wasn't able to film yesterday. But today is a brand new day. Scotty still did not sleep straight last night, but it's okay because at least I got a little bit of rest. And now we are in the laundry area of the Skypod, which you don't really see often. It's kind of messy right now because I'm in the middle of doing laundry. We have a new washing machine here, which hopefully I can show you um, in the future, maybe in a different video. I can do like stuff I usually do around the house, stuff like that. But right now, um, I just thought it would be a nice way to re-answer the video <laughs> in a very natural way. I'm doing Scotty's clothes. This is what I'm using. The Tiny Buds fabric conditioner. It's already um, half melancha. <laughs> and natural newborn laundry wash. So right now, hindi pa kami nakabili ng um, regular laundry detergent for Slater and I. And we don't use like normal laundry detergent because Slater is very allergic. He needs hypoallergenic stuff. So we're very picky and it's very important for me to choose wisely for baby and daddy. And so we're actually using this now as a family. It's not just for newborn. We're using it for everyone. And uh, I'm just gonna finish up here and then I'm going to go into Scotty's room, clean up a bit. He is currently taking his first nap of the day. So I'm gonna clean up his room so that by the time he wakes up, we can go play. And yeah, hopefully after that, you can say hi to him. Okay, laundry done. Come Sky. Come. We're back in Scotty's room. And uh, I actually already cleaned up a little bit this morning. And Yaya Jera helped me also. His crib is not here. We moved it into our bedroom because we are transitioning him into his crib from co-sleeping. Co I tried to redecorate a little bit. So from the last clip that you saw, this one used to be there. That one used to be somebody else, somewhere else. Um, and then we got this new diffuser lamp. So it looks a little bit different and it's because I was cleaning everything. I put everything down. And then when I put it back up, I tried to rearrange it. Then my best friend told me, Chris, it doesn't look nice. So as I mentioned, Slater's the one who decorated this and when I tried to redecorate it to make it even prettier my best friend said don't try na lang because Slater did a better job than you so I guess my job na lang is to appreciate Slater's work Super important to keep everything in this household clean because Scott, I know there will come a time when he will put everything in his mouth and so I want to make sure that it's not anything that could cause him potential sickness or harm and also now he drools everywhere. He drools on me, he drools on all his toys, he drools on the playmat or for example like this thing. He loves this so much. He loves this so much. And then like after he plays with it, it's wet with all his laway. So I know baby's laway is clean. And actually, you know, baby's laway doesn't even smell like anything. It smells really good. But I just want to sanitize everything to make sure, you know, everything's clean. And also this play mat, we lie down here a lot. And Sky 
who is not the cleanest thing in the world is there so I also usually go in with this a lot a lot a lot for the play mat just to make sure that Sky's dirty paws um, baby doesn't touch the spots where Sky touches and that Sky's paws don't go inside like baby's mouth not like inside but like you know you know what I mean? Mom brain, sorry guys, wala pa akong tulog. But yeah, you guys know what I mean. Quick check-in guys, it is already about 10 in the morning and Scotty is still sleeping. His first naps are always the longest and I'm so happy because usually these days, like he doesn't really sleep straight at night. So I feel like he's making bawe all the sleep that he's lost last night. And I don't want to disturb him, but I really want to end this vlog already so that I can put my camera away and spend time with my baby and also do other things. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sure kota na kayo sa screen time ni Scotty. He has so many clips today. Um, I know you guys are always mentioning about how he brings up your day and he does so to ours as well. Like, oh my gosh, I know 2020 has been crazy, but Scotty is really the best thing that's happened to us this year. And so even if 2020 is a bad year, it's gonna be a good year but for me because of Scotty. So that being said, I hope this video um, showed you a little bit of how we do life here, how we do our chores here, how life is as a mom to my cute little baby. And if you guys are interested to watch more vlogs, then please do leave me down a comment below and let me know what kind of videos you wanna see, what kind of vlogs you wanna see. I feel like I love shooting vlogs, but it's very time consuming and sometimes it's hard because I'm always carrying Scotty, so it's how do you carry a camera and a baby at the same time? It's hard. But if you guys like vlogs, then do let me know what types of vlogs that you would want to see because I feel like every day is kind of the same. So I don't want to show you guys boring stuff. But with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a follow, click that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah. Clouds roll by glittering.